What's your name, scumbag? Sir, Private Brown, sir! Bullshit, from now on, you're Private Snowball. Do you like that name? Sir, yes, sir! Well, there's one thing that you won't like, Private Snowball. They don't serve fried chicken and watermelon on a daily basis in my mess hall. Sir, yes, sir! Hi! I hope you all had a great Christmas and everything's been going well for you guys. Um, I've just come back from holiday myself, so apologies for being offline as it were, but um, uh, we had a great time. We always like to go away um, at Christmas when we can, once every four years or so, you know, just to give um, the wife a break. Nice little cottage in the middle of nowhere, walking the dogs, you know, that's us, that's our thing. So we just got back a couple of hours ago and um, a box was waiting in my kitchen. So we had someone around looking after the house while we was away and um, bless her, she signed for packages and I got quite a few. Um, but this one was something that I didn't order, this was given to me, okay. Um, some of you may have um, um, known um, this guy, um, given me a few things over the years and uh, you know we send each other stuff now and again when we can. His name's Ken, K Jumper One. Um, what a guy, <laughs> awesome guy. Love you, Ken. And um, Ken was um, a sergeant in a Marine Corps. Head up. That will be done. And um, I said to him, uh, you know, we chat on Instagram and stuff privately. And um, he mentioned something about some purification tablets and stuff. And uh, yeah, the only stuff that we get here in the UK is um, they're like a chlorine based tablet. Okay. And um, we get them issued with um, British ration packs. And you can buy them over the counter and also in camping stalls okay they're just cure, um, chlorine tablets and he said you can get them over here in, in little bottles I think uh, Walmart do them and um, but you get another tablet that you put in with it which takes away the flavor now if you've never tried water purification tablets okay it's something I hope most people most of you guys will carry in your kit but I suspect that not all of you have actually tried them okay now it does taste like a mild bleach Okay, it's not very nice, but these little tablets take away that flavour, which is great. So, I suspect there's a bit more than water purification tablets in there. I've got no idea what else is in there. Um, it's taken pretty much about three weeks to get here, so not too bad. And of course, in USMC style, we're going to be opening it with my favourite knife of all time, the K Bar USMC fight knife. Recently taken with me on holiday. Um, turned out the place we stayed in was haunted. Spooky. So that was under the pillow. <laughs> Not that it's going to do anything about spirits, but just made me feel a bit better. Okay, enough flannel. Let's um, get open with the box. Now, uh, as I say, I've already got no idea. Wow, that's sharp. <laughs> I've got no idea what's um, in this apart from them tablets, of course. There's something written on the customs note, but. Man, it's so small, I can't read that shit, I don't know what it is. So it's going to be a surprise, which hopefully we're going to be sharing. Um, most of you guys watching by now uh, obviously like unboxing videos. Those of you who don't like unboxing videos, uh, probably be best to turn off now rather than leave crappy comments. I don't care about the comments, what I care about is my subscribers. Um, backing me up and fighting my case for me when I'm not around. I don't want arguments on my channel, so any negative comments on unboxings will be deleted. Simple as that. I won't even waste my energy. You know, I'll probably read about, I don't know, about one or two lines and I know where it's going. I can't even be bothered to read the rest, I'll just delete it. So you're wasting your time. So, okay, all the negative stuff gone. Blimey, Ken. <laughs> Well packed, my friend. I'll tell you what, carrier bags. Here in the UK, um, if you go shopping, you get these for free. Now you have to pay for these now. It's another way our beautiful government um, love getting money from us. So they're all 5p each now, 10 cents. So yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> free carrier bags. <gasps> Bloody brother, this is... Close it up. Right. Darren, hey buddy, hope all is well on your end. I've added a few extra items to go with the Puri tabs. I'm sure you will like them. Merry Christmas to you and your family. ATV, all the best. Ken, PS, enjoy the enclosed snack. Arr, smiley face. <laughs> Brother, 
Now, I've just glanced at this. I really don't know, but you're going to be seeing more than me. Okay. That's not just purification tablets. <laughs> oh, Ken. Oh, man. Man, you're so kind, brother. You know, this is one of the things that I think um, uh, linking up and hooking up with people around the world, you see. Here in the UK, I know you guys, especially in America, and no less from other countries around the world, we don't get as much different items to choose from regarding kit. But from what I understand, watching YouTube over the years, and to see different items, the Americans, love you guys, seem to be getting <laughs> the pick of the share. So to have stuff that we can't get in the UK, is, it really does mean a lot, okay, to us Brits. One of the only things which I haven't got in my kit, which I can't get in the UK, is antibiotics. Amoxicillin, something like that would be good. All I'm interested in is stuff to do with, um, just say if you're out in a field, you get a cut accidentally, it comes infected. We haven't got anything to stop the infection, okay? So obviously we try our best to clean the wounds before you cover it up. But if there's any nasties got in it which you're not sure about and it comes infected, middle of nowhere, you're in big trouble. So that's one of the things, antibiotics we can't get unless we get them prescribed. Uh, what's this? Follow enclosed instructions, follow enclosed instructions. Dressing, first field. Oh, look at that. Here's me talking about infections and what am I holding? I don't know, man. It looks like a really small field dressing. Uh, first field, camouflaged. Oh, man. Don't the Americans get the best stuff? I don't know if you can see that. The lighting's bad. Probably not. Sorry. But, hey ho. Take my word for it. It's a brand new seal. And you know what? That's smaller than the Israeli bandage. And it's a good shape. One thing that winds me up with the Israelis is they obviously don't give a monkey shit when they pack them because they come in all stupid bent up shapes. If they had them all nice and uniform like this, you know, it's not easy to pack. Especially when you consider a first aid kit. Usually you want them small, you don't want to take up a lot of space. So the arseholes who pack these Israeli bandages, man, do a proper job. That is a proper job, okay? Brother, I can't thank you enough for this. First field dressings, camouflage too. Times two. Do you know what? I've, I've noticed something in there. Ken knows what I'm talking about. I've noticed it straight away. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Biscuits brown. So what was... <laughs> Biscuits AB, we used to call them. AB, um, well, ass blockers, which we called them. <laughs> so man, that's come from the UK, gone to the US, back to the UK. The world's most expensive packet of AB biscuits, everybody. <laughs> oh, Ken, enjoy the snack. Yeah. Mate, if I've got the squits, that's what you need. <laughs> awesome. And here we go with the, yeah. Oh, wow, they're by Coleman. Oh, awesome. They come in a twin pack. This is what I actually paid Ken for to send over. Um, two packs of these. I can hold them still so you can see. Um, pause the screen if you want any information. But that's what I'm talking about, okay? Two little bottles, just that, and I'll probably put some Ranger bands around them to stop them clinking together and possibly breaking. Um, stick them in my water kit, okay? Excellent. Oh, so glad they're here. It's weird seeing them on Instagram, and um, yeah, yeah, definitely get them for us. PayPal them, Ken the money, and now I've got them on my hand. Friggin' hell. But this, everything now, damn, it's a bonus. I ain't got a clue what these are. Silum, waterproof. Well, they look like um, chem sticks, but they all seem to be sealed. Man, I haven't seen this shit before. But yeah, they're still in date as well. That's an, that's an original. It expires next year. So yeah, it looks like a glow stick. I'm gonna keep getting up and down, on not It looks like a glow stick. But it's um, it's got some sort of uh, cord or shoelace arrangement going on there. So let's see if we can read. Pull on lanyard to unwrap. Pull on lanyard around, bend, snap. Oh, you swing it around in the air for a signal. Ah, that's excellent. You know, to have all these ready to go like this, 
Um, I always carry light sticks in my kit, okay, for emergencies. Now, this, when you think about it, this is a good idea because um, what you do, if it's dark and you want to attract attention, the helicopter's come and you haven't got any other means of um, attracting attention, you get your light stick, you put it on some paracord and you swing it around and just keep swinging it around. That will get their attention, okay, if they're looking in that direction. But obviously you're going to have to hunt around for paracords, you're going to have to cut certain length, you're going to have to tie it on there. This is all ready to rock and roll. Now, mate, I'm going to get a couple of those and put them on my bug out bag. Oh my god, Ken, it's not just one, there's four. Holy shit. <laughs> oh god. I'm going to have to give some of these away. That's far too much for me, bro. Wow, check it out. So yeah. I've got a giveaway coming up soon anyway, um, but I'm going to say put these back for another giveaway because the way it's going, I'm going to hit 40,000 before long. It's already at 35 nearly, it's insane. So, yeah, definitely going to give some of those away. Thanks, Ken, that's awesome. I've never seen nothing like it. And yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Oh man, is that a P38 can opener? <laughs> it looks like it could be. Shelby, yeah, it's original. <laughs> One of the oldest mass reduced tin openers on planet Earth. And it's good because they stay there, they don't flop around all the time. Awesome, man. That's, a, that's, a, that's an original. And yeah, that's going to that's gonna pierce a can, no problem at all. You know what? Oh, what? Do you know, Ken, I don't know how you do this, man. You read my mind. These bags. Um, I'll let you into a secret. When I'm at work, we've got access to um, sealy bags, or um, what do you guys in America call them? Um, baggies, or Ziploc bags, something like that. Um, but they're very, very thin. They're cheap. But I just get by with those. Ken, very oh wow, he's very kind. He gave me these. FDA approved. FDA federal. It's got to be federal or something in it. It's got to be something department. Is it Federal Defence Department? Association? I don't know. But yeah, we've got some really good quality Ziploc bags. And I do mean good quality. Man, that's tough. Proper heavy duty. Oh, wow. And one of the things that warns about some Ziploc bags, they're really hard to get into. That's flawless. And that's what we want about a Ziploc bag. You want it to be tough, and you want it to open and shut really easy, without keep going back and worrying if you sealed it properly. Patented leak proof airtight seal. SSI, formerly NASDS. What is it with Americans and abbreviations? God damn it. How are you supposed to remember all this stuff? <laughs> That's awesome. Damn, I've got so much kit. And to put it in bags is wicked. What have we got here? Oh well, it's it's a it's an issue item. Light marker distry. I reckon that's distress. And the way I know it's original, if you look there on the NSN number, you see the code 01. 01 is America, and in fact 00 is America also. United Kingdom is 99, um, Holland is 17, um, Germany is 12. Um, that's from memory, they're the ones that are, are most important to me uh, for a quality of kit. But yeah buddy, that's, uh, let's see what this is, eh? this is a new one on me. Oh my god. We didn't have I didn't know it was one of these. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Ken, you shouldn't have done this really, man. These are expensive. Oh my god. It is. It's the infrared buddy distress beacon. How awesome is this? You see the top there? Infrared. Take it off. You got white light. Pull it back. It covers over with a blue film for aircraft. So you've got infrared, you've got white, and you've got blue for aircraft. So you've got a Troy Way Distress Strobe Beacon in its in its original issue box. Oh, Ken, that's taking it too far, man. You shouldn't have done that. Because um, I think in the UK to buy these, this is brand new. I can tell it's never been used um, in this condition especially with its original box 
you're looking anything between 50 and 70 pounds up to a hundred dollars <sighs> you guys and that's got me a bit sorry well um <clears throat> what have we got here zero zero this is definitely um us issue uh, it looks like um a tarp as you guys call it we call it basher wow well, what is it uh I'm not familiar with the, the item number, but I'll have to check it out. But, hey ho, let's open it now and have a look. This is, ah, do you know what? I'm, I've got a funny feeling, I made a comment recently. I might have been one of Ken's videos. I think it's something like this or with someone else. And it's like, a, oh yeah. It's like um, an olive green or olive grab one side and silver reflective on the other, okay? It's got grommet holes on one on every corner, so you pour off. The size, well, it will easily wrap, it's probably around seven foot by about five foot. Rough estimate, just, just by holding it up, okay? Do you know what? <laughs> that couldn't have come at a better time. Uh, because I've had a few guys um, not go on, um, but request me um, when you're doing an overnighter, when you're going out in the woods. And I know it's been a long time since I've been out. Um, I did do an overnighter about three weeks ago. Um, it wasn't filmed, um, but that's for um, reasons which I'm not going to go into now. But I did go out on one. I didn't film anything. Um, but I am going to be doing one soon. Okay. It's going to be very, very early next year. If not, I can try and get away with one um, before the end of the year. But to be honest, you know, Christmas is very big for me and family. And this is zero time um, for me to get out into the woods, okay? So I hope, you know, that's, um, that apology, as it were, <laughs> is okay with some of you guys. Because I do get a lot of questions when you're going out on an overnighter. And the next one I've planned... I needed to think about taking the ground sheet. Now I've got some which are about four times the weight of this, big heavy duty ones. This can come at a better time. And to have silver reflective on the bottom, obviously face down to stop the heat getting to you. Sorry, the, the, um, the cold getting to you to sap the heat from you. That's what I meant to say. Oh mate, <laughs> perfect timing. Ken, what can I say? That's a bad man right there. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Seriously, man, I'll just, I'll just pay for these. You know, what the... <sighs> what am I gonna do with you people? <laughs> this, is, this is one thing that does do my head in. Um, I do get sent quite a lot of items, okay? Not all of them appear on videos because there would just be, would be a lot. And the thing that does me in is that I just can't afford to give everyone everything, everyone something back. Um, some people might seem you know, like selfish, all you do is you get stuff, you don't give anything back. But I'll give away as much as I can. Um, if you don't believe me, just type my name in, Funky Unboxing, and see how many videos from around the world comes up. You know, I do do my share, try my best, but um, you know, the more subscribers I seem to get, the more gifts I get, and you know, just can't return the favour. So, um, who knows, maybe next year I'll get out to America. Um, to see my mate Ken again, uh, um, do some dirt time, man, and uh, I'll see if I can bring something out nice for you, mate. But yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Another unboxing video. Um, hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Um, more videos to come soon. Um, I'll be doing an update video after this one um, on projects, etc. But that's another time. This has already gone on too long. So thanks for your interest. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching, and stay funky.